Hello, everyone, and welcome to the webinar. Today, we'll be discussing how you can automate your dropship and EDI orders with ShipStation and Logic Broker. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Zane Gamboa. I work in partner marketing here at ShipStation. I've been with the company for about two years. I'm joined by my co-host, Craig Regan from Logic Broker. Craig, would you like to introduce yourself? Thank you, Zane. Yes, this is Craig with Logic Broker. Uh, I'm the director of sales. Uh, and I work on our partnerships here at Logic Broker, and I have worked closely with ShipStation uh, for a number of years um, to put together an automated EDI solution uh, that help fits the need of their customer base. And I also work with a lot of our own customers here at Logic Broker uh, that are using this solution with ShipStation. So let's jump in to what everybody is going to learn today and, and kind of why hopefully everyone is here. So I talk to a lot of ShipStation customers every day. Uh, and here are the common questions I hear from them around EDI and dropship. I have people ask me, you know, what is EDI? Uh, why isn't ShipStation already integrated with Wayfair or uh, some of my other channels like a Macy's or a Nordstrom? Uh, what's the difference between EDI and API? And you know, why isn't EDI built into ShipStation already? Uh, and the goal at the end of this webinar here is for you to be able to understand why Logic Broker partners with ShipStation and also to understand more about EDI uh, and why retailers require it uh, to communicate orders, uh, shipments, tracking, invoice with them. I'll pass it over to Zane to give a, an overview of ShipStation. So to give you all a quick overview of ShipStation, uh, we operate in the US, Canada, Australia, and Europe. Our mission is to help merchants wherever you sell, however you ship, be exceptionally efficient. So the first part of our mission, wherever you sell, uh, we help our merchants expand their e-commerce footprint by partnering with over 200 companies to ensure that they're able to sell their products wherever they want. Uh, whether that's eBay, Amazon, uh, Jet, wherever that may be, we make sure that we're connected with them to make sure that you can get your products out wherever you'd like. So syncing your orders with ShipStation, extremely easy. Uh, just a few clicks, you'll have your multi-channel selling up in a breeze, no problems at all. Uh, we've got more integrations than any other shipping platform, so we really do uh, you know, give you that full range of options when you're looking uh, at marketplaces to use to sell your products. Uh, we also have two-way communications between all of our platforms just to ensure that the order status and tracking data is all accurate. The second part of our mission, however you ship, we connect our merchants with the top carriers in the US, Canada, Australia, and the UK. Uh, and you can see we work with USPS, FedEx, Royal Mail, UPS, as well as a few others. Uh, so you can connect your existing accounts simply. Uh, and if you have negotiated rates, you don't have to worry. You can keep those. Uh, but if you don't, you can take advantage of some of ours. Uh, for example, um, with USPS through ShipStation, you get um, commercial plus pricing. Um, now that's going to be basically the best pricing that you can get out there. Uh, aside from negotiating your own rates. So um, not only are you able to house all your marketplaces in one area, uh, but you're also able to get uh, advantages from, from the standpoint of shipping costs. Um, you know, we enable our merchants to compare prices in uh, real time uh, with real rate time information um, and batch print thousands of labels at once with just a couple of clicks. Um, and we also help funnel dropship orders with automation rules, some of which we'll discuss here shortly. And the last piece of our mission, uh, exceptionally efficient. We provide a vast amount of data to our merchants so they can make informed decisions about how to grow their business. Um, as you can see, we break down your sales by channel so you can get a better idea of what types of selling channels are working best for your products and maybe where's the next place that you're gonna expand into. Uh, we also give you historical data so you can plan ahead and see when your influxes of sales are gonna happen so that you can prep order more inventory, um, do whatever you need to do to make sure that you're ready for those orders. So let's jump into which retailers require EDI. And 
the answer to that question is pretty much all of them. Um, so you can see here, I selected a, a few of them that do. So Amazon, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, Costco, Home Depot, Wayfair, Hay Needle, Walmart, Target. Uh, all these retailers require EDI and they've been using EDI for a while. Um, and besides these, there, there's hundreds of more. Uh, and to automate that process, you'll need to use some type of connection to support EDI and be able to enable the different formats that these retailers require. And that's kind of where Logic Broker jumps in. And that's why Logic Broker is important. Uh, so let me take you through a quick journey here. Uh, what life is like before using ShipStation and Logic Broker and what it's like after ShipStation and Logic Broker. Uh, so a lot of my customers before they're using uh, this solution, they're doing a lot of swivel chairing and going between a lot of different tabs. Uh, they're logging into various vendor portals uh, like a commerce hub or an extranet, uh, looking at their orders, data entering them into ShipStation, uh, and then pick pack and shipping in, then having to go back, data entering, uh, tracking information, invoices, inventory. It's very labor intensive and require a lot of manpower uh, to process not that many orders. Also, a lot of these retailers use errors as a profit center. So if you fat finger the tracking information or or fat finger the invoice amount, the retailer will give you a chargeback. Uh, and those can get pretty costly, especially when, you know, dropship can sometimes, the margins can be very tight. So if you get a, a $25 chargeback because you miskeyed a tracking information, that could kill your entire margin on our order. Uh, and like I mentioned before, the whole process is very time consuming. Uh, so it might take you a few hours, maybe more, a day or two to get your tracking information back off to the retailer. Uh, and in their eyes, you know, they want that as soon as possible. So if you aren't providing tracking information quick enough, you know, they take note of that and impacts your vendor scorecard, uh, which the retailers will use to monitor how well you're performing with Tropship. Uh, and, you know, it really can be an unsupportable environment for, you know, scalability. You have to worry about, okay, if I add another channel, how am I going to get the manpower to process all these orders? What if I get 100 orders more than I expected today? So once you use Logic Broker and ShipStation, the whole process becomes automated. Uh, so Logic Broker, we manage all the EDI integrations with your retailers, and we pump those into ShipStation via the API. Uh, and we'll go into more detail about how that all works in a couple of these slides. Uh, but the whole entire process will be automated. So no longer having to go between different vendor portals and swivel chairing back and forth and doing data entry. The entire process is automated uh, for orders, tracking information, invoices, all that. You're able to easily meet the retailer's requirements. So, you know, you're not having to custom build any connections. Uh, Logic Broker, we have all those connections for you. You can also increase your, your margins because you no longer have to worry about uh, getting chargebacks from these retailers from um, fat fingering uh, any keys or any errors during the, the process. Um, so that will help you increase your margins and really help you scale your business. And I'll go into an example here of, of I had a customer that was spending hours a day processing orders for uh, a couple channels. And once he implemented Logic Broker and ShipStation was really able to scale out his business and add lots of channels. So let's jump into that. Uh, so Dell Hudson Designs is a great company. Uh, they're located in Texas, uh, where ShipStation is located as well. Uh, and they have a very awesome and cool product. As you can see there, it's very modern. Uh, they do a lot of business and everything actually is handmade here in the U.S and it comes at a good price point. So they've been selling on Wayfair for a number of years and you know they're doing a great job. It's a great fit for the Wayfair customers and they're processing tons of orders a day. Uh, and basically, John, uh, the COO over there at L. Hudson, called me <laughs> one day and was like, Craig, uh, I'm using ShipStation right now. 
I'm logging into Wayfair's portal every day, and it's taking me six hours a day to process these orders. Uh, I'm having to log in on the weekends to sometimes fix these issues and process is orders. I'm getting chargebacks. <laughs> this is a direct quote for him. As a dropshipper, it was a logistical nightmare. Um, so he was having a lot of problems with it, and he had a great product. So he's really trying to figure out how can he scale this and automate it. And that's where we came in. Uh, so we did a one-time integration with Wayfair and ShipStation. We were getting up, able to get him up and running in, in less than 30 days. And we were really able to completely eliminate the need for him to process orders for six hours a day. And as a small business, he was able to allocate that resources that was doing non-generating, not revenue generating tasks all day, all day data entering to doing something else that's more profitable for the business. It also helped centralize everything for him. So he didn't have to log into the various different portals to check on orders and how many he's getting. It's all within ShipStation. And then lastly, uh, he was able to add a lot more channels uh, because he no longer had to worry about, okay, how am I going to handle processing these increased orders when I add a new channel? Um, he's been able to significantly grow his business uh, without ever having to add any headcount uh, to process those orders. Uh, another company in that scene a tremendous value from Logic Broker and ShipStation is Wex9 Vintage. Uh, so they're a smaller company. And the CEO called me saying, you know, we have very big growth plans scheduled for this year. And I don't want to spend my resources and, and my own time processing EDI orders. I need a way for this to scale and it to scale very easily. Uh, so we were able to do a one-time integration with his uh, ShipStation. Um, to an EDI channel, he was able to become EDI compliant in less than two weeks and eliminated three hours of daily data entry that he was having to do uh, and really set him up for success so he can add lots of more channels in the future and not have to worry about how am I going to handle this integration, how am I going to handle processing these orders. He just tells us, okay, I have to work with Nordstrom, I have to work with Payneedle or whomever, integrate them with ShipStation. So overall, the process is very easy for the user. It's very scalable uh, and provides a lot of value. And so let's jump into actually what EDI is. Um, so EDI, you know, it's not a new technology. It's been around for 30 plus years. Uh, and it's required because of all the major retailers like Walmart, Target, uh, they all use EDI uh, as a standard for communicating with their suppliers. Uh, so ShipStation users such as yourself, uh, and they've been doing it for a number of years. And you might hear people say, okay, I heard EDI is a standard. Uh, yeah, the, the communication is a standard, but each retailer has their own standard and or their own format of EDI. Uh, but when it comes to dropship, uh, here are kind of the common documents that, that you'll hear, and I'll explain each one of them uh, right now. So you'll hear an EDI 850. What's that? That's basically a purchase order. Uh, so that's the retailer telling you, okay, here's what a customer ordered. Here's the ship to address, fulfill it. So after you receive the order, you're gonna need to send back an acknowledgement to the retailer because they'll wanna know, okay, you received the order. They'll also wanna know, are you going to fulfill the order and when are you going to ship it out so they can communicate that to the customer and have a good customer experience in case you know there is a cancellation or just providing that customer the ship estimated ship time so that that can set the right expectations with the customer so that's sent as an edi 850 acknowledgement the next document uh, and this is where ship station comes into play is the asn or advanced shipment notice this has the tracking information so Logic Broker, we pull the tracking information straight from ShipStation. So once that order is shipped, that tracking information on an ASN goes right back to the retailer in the format that they require. And they can then update their own platform, communicate out to the customer saying, hey, your order's complete. There's your shipment information. Have a nice day. Uh, the next document you'll need to send is an EDI 810. That's basically telling the retailer, okay, 
here's what I shipped, now pay me for it. And then lastly, you'll have inventory updates, which is an EDI 846. Uh, this communicates stock quantities to the retailer, and they'll want to have those quantities typically, you know, at least once a day uh, and definitely once a week. So they know how much inventory you have on hand. Uh, so when a customer places an order, they're not going to run into any situations where the item's out of stock. Uh, but the customer already placed the order. So just maintaining that quality customer experience. And again, you know, we exist because we can handle all these different EDI documents and each retailer has their own different format for an 850, an 846, an 810. Uh, so you don't have to worry about all those different formats. Logic Worker handles it for you. And here, you know, just so people can get a good understanding of what an EDI document looks like. On the left, you'll see I have just a, a basic generic purchase order. I'm sure most of you guys have seen one of those before. And then on the right, you'll see what an EDI purchase order looks like. Uh, so that's the format for EDI. And you can see it has a lot of different numbers in there, but, you know, basically has the same different, the same information you find on a purchase order. So you can see uh, the supplier, the ship to address and the item on the order. So let's walk through how the process actually works with ShipStation. Uh, so Logic Broker, uh, our integration with ShipStation is done through their API. So it's very lightweight on the user side to get up and running and very easy. Uh, so Logic Broker will do a one-time integration with the ShipStation API and your account. Uh, we'll also do an integration with the retailer. So using Wayfarers as an example, uh, a customer will provide us their contact information over at Wayfair. You tell them, okay, I wanna be up and running with EDI. And then Logic Broker starts handling that EDI process for you. Uh, once everything's up and running, you'll receive an EDI 850 purchase order. And we'll push that through the, the ShipStation API and it'll come into ShipStation through a store ID so if you're bringing in orders from, let's say, a Shopify or eBay or, or Amazon Seller Central, which ShipStation does a great job with, uh, all your EDI orders will come in just like it were one of those orders from Shopify or eBay or Amazon Seller Central. So the process will be exactly the same. Uh, you'll just see it as Wayfair or Hayneedle or whatever uh, retail you're working with. Uh, once that's in ShipStation, what Logic Broker will do is we'll automatically send back an EDI 855 acknowledgement to the retailer saying, okay, we received the order, we accepted it, and here's when we're gonna ship it. Uh, and there's a number of different ways that we can build logic into there. So we're sending the right ship times uh, based on what product you're selling. Uh, then ShipStation comes into play. So you pick, pack, and ship the order, your normal process, uh, if the retailer is dictating, okay, you need to ship at UPS, uh, ground, or, or FedEx, you know, we can provide that automatically in ShipStation, so it's already there. Uh, ShipStation can have some of those retailer uh, shipping accounts already set up in ShipStation too, so it's already there when the order is getting created. Uh, you print out uh, the branded packing slip, so Logic Broker can provide those packing slips in ShipStation, or you can create them already in ShipStation uh, through their packing slip creator. Uh, but once the order has been marked as shipped in ShipStation, that's when Logic Broker knows, okay, I can take the tracking information for this order and then send it off to the retailer. So we'll pull that through their ShipStation API. We'll take create a 856, which is the ASN, and then we'll send it to the retailer in the format that they require. After that, uh, there's a couple of other documents that you'll need to send back to the retailer. Uh, one is an EDI 810 and we automatically send the 810 after the, the shipment has been sent. So you don't have to go in there and upload them manually. Uh, it can automatically be sent. You can also send the inventory files as often as you want through Logic Broker uh, in our portal. So I'll pass it over to Zane uh, to tell you a little bit more about ShipStation and how it helps with the process. So ShipStation, we love to automate as much of your business as we can for you. Uh, we want to make sure that you're really spending time uh, selling your products, making money, and not manually entering things that are unnecessary. Um, so one of the first things that I love to talk about are product presets. 
Uh, it's really one of the best ways to save time and automate any manual task. Uh, this could be something as simple as making sure your products import into your shipping software with the correct weight and dimensions. You have a carrier service and package type preloaded based upon what shipping method the customer selected at checkout. Uh, this could also be, you know, applying special tasks like adding insurance to every international order over, say, $100. Um, so the next, the next piece of that is uh, customizable views. Uh, you can build filters, create user accounts with permissions, restrictions, um, all those sorts of things so that each person within your organization um, can work within ShipStation uh, depending upon what their role is. And of course, the batch printing that, batch printing that I mentioned earlier, um, that's always available through automation as well. The next level is uh, service mappings. Uh, not only is this a valuable automation, but it establishes another level of trust with your customers. Uh, if you market an expedited shipping method at checkout, then you need to be sure that you ship that order with the fastest uh, shipping method. Ideally, your shipping software can take this request and shipping method data uh, from the marketplace and translate that into a key uh, carrier service and package for that order. Um, so, for example, let's say you know you want to use USPS uh, first class for all of your free orders. Um, you would go in and you would tie free shipping to USPS first class, and now now your uh, now your software knows that anytime you have an order with free shipping, it's automatically going there. You don't even have to worry about that. So, top five automations uh, in ShipStation are anything under sixteen ounces. Uh, you're going to throw that into uh, USPS first class mail. Um, the basic setup, um, you know, is tying tying those two together um, and making sure that uh, that all those all those pieces are are, uh, are circling back to that same that same package. Um, additional insurance for anything over one hundred dollars. One that I just mentioned previously. Uh, that's another one of our most popular ones. Um, as well as uh, FBA. Um, the criteria you could set up, uh, maybe you want every FBA uh, order to, to be shipped out FBA, anything that's outside of your state. Um, so you can just focus on what's inside your state, anything outside of your state, Amazon fulfills. Um, and the fourth is gonna be charge shipping to 3PL. Um, so whenever they're fulfilling a product upon your behalf, um, you can have that automatically set up. So when that order goes to the 3PL, you won't be paying for the shipping. It's already set up in there uh, through your automation rules. And finally, um, specific packing slips. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones because, you know, as Craig mentioned earlier, um, you know, each of these different retailers requires a different packing slip. So it's nice to be able to tie those specific packing slips to the specific channel. Um, so you, you don't have to worry about getting something sent back or getting chargebacks like Craig mentioned. Um, you can really simplify that and eliminate human error just by making sure that marketplaces are tied to specific packing slips and you're good to go on that aspect. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, the packing slip portion, it, it is very important uh, to be compliant with with that portion um, because, you know, the retailer wants to make it look like that they ship the product sometimes, uh, not you. Uh, so it's very important to make sure that you have the right packing slips uh, for your marketplaces and for your retailers. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah, and so let's jump into the part probably everybody's been been waiting for. Uh, how much does this all cost? Um, so on the logic broker side, uh, our costs are pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Uh, like I mentioned before, EDI, it's not something you can set up and you can just turn it on. Uh, there is a process that logic broker needs to be involved with with every retailer you work with. So even though we've integrated with a Wayfair or a Hay Needle or Overstock hundreds of times, we still need to go through that process every time we integrate. Uh, and part of the value that Logic Broker is providing is you don't have to worry about that. We do all that for you. Um, so on our side, there's no setup fees, which is great. Uh, all we have is a monthly fee. Uh, and typically with EDI, uh, 
people will charge like a per document or order fee or percentage of revenue. We don't do that. We just have a flat rate for our service and technology. Uh, and all of our support is located in the US in Shelton, Connecticut. And included in that $500 is your first EDI connection. Uh, and then every time you add a new connection, it's very easy and, and very uh, easy for you to calculate, you know, how much this is going to cost for you in the long run. It's just an additional hundred bucks per month. So if you wanted to integrate with a Wayfair and then you want to add Target, your monthly food will be 600 bucks. If you want to then add Walmart and then become 700 and so forth. Uh, we do have a one-year contract, but those subscription fees are paid monthly. Uh, if you're looking to learn a little bit more about the pricing and a specific integration uh, and seeing a demo, the, the best thing for you is to contact sales at logicbroker.com. Uh, and now I'll jump, pass it over to Zane so he can talk about ShipStation's pricing model. Yeah, so ShipStation really has everything from uh, startup to enterprise. You know, as you can see, our plans start at $9. They go all the way up to $159. Um, and the things that you get with these, uh, you know, vary by the number of users you're going to need, perhaps, or by the level of support that you're looking for. Um, these are also limited by shipments. Uh, so our bottom plan starting with 50, the top being unlimited. Um, so, you know, we really have a broad range to accommodate every type of business, you know, whether you're just getting started um, online and you have an, an established uh, brick and mortar. Um, and you're sort of testing what that e-commerce space may look like for your business, we've got something that fits. Um, or if you're doing, you know, 10,000, 20,000, even 50,000 packages um, a month, we've got something that can accommodate you there as well. Um, so we really do have something that matches every type of business, uh, just to make sure that we're really offering our product at an attainable price uh, for everyone. Awesome. Um... So yeah, so I appreciate everybody taking the time today to, to join the webinar with, with me and Zane. Uh, just to kind of quickly recap everything uh, for all the attendees. Um, so Logic Broker and ShipStation, once you use both of our solutions, uh, the entire EDI and dropship process can be automated. Whether you use with Commerce Hub, Wayfair, Hayneedle, Nordstrom, Target, uh, hundreds of other retailers, Logic Broker can automate that entire order life cycle with ShipStation. Um, and as you can see here, John, with, with Dell Hudson Designs that I mentioned before, uh, everything with the integration is easy for you. And as you can see, the ShipStation integration was smooth and, and everything worked. Once integrated, all we had to do was click the order, print ship the label and ship it, and everything was done in the background for us. Um, it starts off at only $500 per month. And again, you can reach out to sales at Logic Broker if you're interested in learning more about a specific integration uh, and seeing a demo. Uh, and last but not least, uh, all webinar attendees uh, are able to qualify for one month free of service uh, with Logic Broker uh, until May 30th. So with that, uh, let's just jump into a quick Q&A. Uh, we have a couple questions here. Uh, based on popular questions we hear from ShipStation and Logic Broker customers. Uh, so the first one I have here, Zane, for you is, how long does it take to get set up with ShipStation? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, that's one that we get pretty frequently. Um, you know, whenever you're jumping onto a new platform or a new technology, you're always concerned of what setup's going to look like. Uh, fortunately, with ShipStation, you know, this is only looking like a few minutes. Um, we don't require any credit card up front. You know, you get a free 30 day trial uh, and you can really set up your account, you know, integrate all of your marketplaces and carriers, um, you know, extremely quickly. You know, you're looking at a setup time of probably somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so, you know, you're able to able to hit the ground running quickly. Great. And that kind of jumps into my next question. Uh, how long does it take to get set up with logic broker. Uh, so EDI is, is a little different uh, in terms of setup uh, because it does require uh, humans to communicate back and forth with each other uh, and a testing process uh, to get this set up and up and running. Uh, and we take the setup and testing process very seriously. So even though we've integrated with all these retailers a number of times, 
Uh, we go through a very rigid process to make sure, you know, you're not going to see any chargebacks from any EDI errors. So depending on the retailer, some are quicker than others. Uh, you know, you you can look between two to, two to six weeks uh, to get up and running uh, with the channel. Uh, and so here's another question uh, for Zane and ShipStation. What Australian carriers do y'all work with? <laughs> I'm glad we got this one because we didn't have any uh, on that previous slide. Uh, so we actually work with uh, Sendle, uh, Australia Post, USPS uh, Australia, or sorry, UPS Australia, excuse me, um, and DHL Express Australia. Um, so we've got we've got the four largest carriers uh, in the country, uh, as well as Sendle, who, uh, if I might say, is probably the most advanced out of all of them in terms of the disruption that they're doing. Um, so we really are able to cover you know the whole country, offer multiple services. Um, so you're able to compare rates and make sure that you really are getting that that best uh, cost of shipping. That's good to hear, Zane. I know you guys are investing heavily in the international market and, and be able to offer more carriers and, and more regions as well. Uh, so that's good to hear. Absolutely. Uh, and last question here uh, before you close it out. Uh, how much effort is required uh, to get this up and running if I'm using ShipStation already. Uh, so that part is pretty easy to answer. So Logic Broker, we handle all the EDI testing and all the mapping that's required with the retailer. Uh, you basically tell us, okay, I want to integrate with Walmart. Uh, here's my EDI contact at Walmart, which they'll give you once you tell them that you want to do EDI. And then we hit the ground running uh, with Walmart and whoever the retailer is that you want to work with. Uh, on your side with ShipStation, you just have to provide us your ShipStation API keys, uh, which are very easy to get. Uh, ShipStation has some great documentation on getting that. It literally takes 30 seconds to get that. Uh, after that, you know, you'll just have to work with my team here when we're doing that testing process, making sure when we pump an order into ShipStation, the order looks the way you want it. And when we send back uh, test tracking information, all the tracking information uh, flows out the way you want it to. Probably on your side, you're looking a couple hours, that's it, uh, to get up and running uh, from your side. 